Hello everyone and welcome back. Although we are quite far into the new season, I did have some old endgame builds that I failed to upload in time. Since it would be a waste to get rid of them and start again, I will upload them instead with some new additional information to help expand their use in this season. With that out of the way, I'd like to introduce a build that does everything within a strand kit, and I mean everything. From suspend, threadlings, whirling maelstrom, infinite decoys, continuous tangles, and more. The following is your everyday everything build that I recommend you equip if you like to minimize build crafting. Using Sith Coyote and Quicksilver Storm, I'm going to show you the ultimate hunter build to operate with. Starting with Aspect, you're going to want to have Whirling Maelstrom, where destroying a tangle creates violent mass or strand fibers. Then we have Fred Spectre, where activating your class ability creates a decoy. The idea here is to create an effective combo that after use, one after another, will complement and support the entirety of the build just from that action alone. You'll see later on how these two aspects will create a unique synergy from start to finish. For Fragments, we have Fred of Fury, where damaging targets with tangles grants melee energy. Fred of Mind, where defeating and suspend targets grants class ability. Fred of Evolution, where strand threadlings travel further and do more damage. And Fred of Generation, where dealing damage generates grenade energy. It is heavily required that you follow the given fragment shown, as these will be spawned in the setup we have in mind. As the build will be utilizing everything at our disposal, we'll need to make sure our fragments can keep up with the rapid changes that the build will be going through. This means class ability, grenade, melee, and tangle ability energy will need to be supported and active one after another, or else the build will fall short once in action. The gameplay shown will give you a good idea as to how the build plays out in higher content. Modern stats, we have discipline being the highest style of everything shown, while the rest are all much more lower. However, with how the modern fragments will be working, we won't actually need to worry about having the stats super high up. Discipline at tier 9 will grant us a 1 minute 27 cooldown via shackle grenades. Although current stat is high, we do have further generation, which will easily reduce the stats given level quite significantly. At the same time, with how important of a role the stat will play, it will have additional mods supporting it, such as Grenade Kickstart for the 34.4% cooldown and Distribution for the 4% all stats buff. You can easily max this stat out like I would always recommend, but as long as you have further generation in hand, you should be fine on tier 7 and above working from there. Now, mobility and strength are both tier 5, and both stats play a part in the build from aspect the fragments used. Now, maxing these stats out are recommended as it will give you the best results, but following the fragments used, you can avoid needing higher tier armor. Mobility at tier 5 will give you a 32 second cooldown, which is great as we don't need to invest a lot into this. It is recommended to have bolstering detonation known for the 12% class ability return via grenade usage. Strength is also the same at tier 5, with it offering a 1 minute 44 second mini cooldown instead. High stat indeed, we'll be using the mini kickstart mod for the 34.4% mini regen upon activation, and then having the outreach mod for the 12% mini energy on return. Once everything is combined together, the cooldown actually becomes pretty good in higher tier content. The next section will be focusing on armor charges and additional mod that are recommended for the build. Charged up will give you a plus one to how many charge stacks you have. After that, having the harmonic siphon and elemental charge mod will allow you to gather orbs of power much faster while playing. Next, enhancing our strand weapon with a times one surge mod for a 10% weapon damage buff and time dilation mod for a longer armor charge is always welcoming for the user to attach. Lastly, we have the ammo finder, reserves and scavenger mods for increasing the payload of a heavy strand weapon and also have dynamo for allowing us to build super energy much more faster. For weapons, we are using the Quicksilver Storm for exotic fed or creating tangles via his grenade launcher form. The following is one of the best strand weapons you use for anything strand based, and although it pairs really well with Swarm of Warlocks, I have found much success with the weapon when being used in the given build. Since Maelstrom is a very powerful aspect to use in the end game, you will want to make sure you have plenty of ways of creating them. Our fragment choices will allow greater ways of creating tangles, but the given is what's going to make them appear more often. 
Of course, as an alternative, the final warning sidearm is both perfect for this season's anti-barrier choice and great for unraveling targets much more faster. For heavy, we have the circular logic machine gun with hatchling and envious assassin, which is a very common weapon you'll hear and see for me a lot. The given weapon works well across the board, while also dealing effective damage against whatever it is aimed at. I have found this weapon to be the most reliable compared to most other heavy weapons offered, and just in general covers all the needs an endgame player may want. Now I have played around with Strand Hunter a lot, and from a lot of the gameplay you have seen me do all sorts of builds based around them. But this build here is where the Strand Hunters excel the most in when it comes to endgame, as the amount of pressure they can place onto multiple targets is both staggering and interesting to witness. The build accompanies a wide selection of abilities for you to use and spam how you like, and though the build is from last season, you can still use the following setup as long as you manage your anti-champion gear. In terms of practicality, the build is capable of covering multiple angles in a fight, whether you are on your own or in a team. Our threaded spectre allows us to create a decoy to where enemies will always focus on to take pressure off you, but at the same time, Whirling Maelstrom, when triggered, will do continuous damage onto anyone caught within his radius. Then you have Threaded Spike, which we'll use to build back up our abilities, and then Shackle Grenades will stun targets even more. Lastly, you then have Threadlings, which will be coming from multiple areas within our gear, and will be leaving a lasting impression onto anyone caught by it. This, all in all, is what the build is going to offer at first, and when using it in combat, you'll see just how practically good it can really get. What I like about the build the most is how you don't need to have maxed out stats just to achieve the following. In fact, you can have a tier 5 stat across the board and it would do extremely well nonetheless. This in fashion allows players who are new or don't get great armor stats to not worry about needing to farm and fix the given areas, just to make it work in your favor. At the same time, the exotic being used are something that everyone can get or replace. The mods are easy to use and understand, the fragments don't take time to get, and ultimately, this is flexible for all content in game, and I genuinely mean it. As we are in a new season now, we can make further adjustments to improve the build if you like, such as adding in Wishkeeper for a longer lasting suspend effect, or we can add in another charge by light mod so we can have 6 charges overall, which means both our grenades and melee kickstart mods get a greater amount of energy back, or even we can improve our stats more so they can garner more energy while waiting less time. There are so much things we can improve and adapt as the seasons go by, so in many ways this is a build for life. Whether you want to bring this into the final expansion, or need a build for the everyday task, the following will survive your endgame purposes pretty damn well. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. I'll leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I've played available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.